you only have one session. Uh, and that is, uh, this is, as I said, uh, <coughs> you can start. You want to start recording now? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Today we have a special uh, event. We can say it's an event because uh, next to uh, the real actual Viva, uh, this is the uh, next most important preparation uh, event before the Viva. So today we will be focusing on what uh, I call the Viva, uh, the pre-Viva preparation uh, presentation session, right? So uh, today, uh, what we'll do is that we will start with uh, the, 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 the first part of our um, discussion will be uh, the presentation from Muzakir, uh, so he will make his presentation uh, as if he's making the real presentation to the, uh, the, 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 the Viva committee, right, which is scheduled a, a few days from now, three days from now. Are you are you nervous, sir? Eh? Was that okay? <laughs> uh, uh, so after that, I will give my take. Uh, so I will share with you all um, what I call the twelve principles uh, for Viva pre pre uh, preparation, and then I have some uh, set of questions go uh, with that. Uh, so it is uh, for me. It is a, a important session for you all to understand uh about preparing for viva as well so uh, and uh, it is it is uh, so for those of you who haven't well all, all of you basically who have not <laughs> have not, <laughs> have not uh, uh done your viva yet uh yeah this is the session uh where we prepare for the viva but though uh, and and i would really want you all to attend the viva session uh, uh and then and for all my students, I will require you to at least attend two, twice, or uh, if you could, three times every year, right? So that uh, by the time you uh, get to your Viva, you will see more than 10 presentation, 10 Viva sessions. So you will see how how the Viva uh, oral defense, Viva Bosa has been conducted. So you, you, you have a good feel, a good sense of how it is done. So uh, uh, Muzaki, are you ready? All right, the floor is yours, Muzaki. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Very good morning, everyone. Compass study, study of two Muhammadiyah universities. Yeah. Problems, Problems teman -teman. Uh, the, 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 the text is has, has the problem statement, namely, first, the study aims to capture the pattern of the organizational transformation of Muhammadiyah universities comparatively. Theoretically, the study provides explanation about how Islamic non-governmental organization or NGO build and transform Islamic-based university in first
what are the key events of organizational transformation in the two Muhammadiyah University throughout 1998 From the research question, it divided into three research objectives. Namely, first, to examine the key event, the change throughout almost two decades of organizational transformation in the two Muhammadan universities. Second, to reveal generative mechanisms contributing to the transformation of two Muhammadan universities. And third, to explain commonalities and differences between organizational transformation of two universities. Significant of study, the significance of this reset is to contribute it to the theoretical discourse of the development of the Islamic NGO based private higher education institutions in Indonesia. The study also contributes to work an informed understanding on the development and transformation of Muhammadiyah universities to, in the response to social change in Indonesia. And the third, this study generates relevant studies in the field of higher education in Indonesia. Future research in organizational transformation among private learning institutions with a different location can be pursued. Scope of study. The study focus on two Muhammadiyah universities as the unit of analysis in the organizational transformation Universitas Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta or UMY and Universitas Muhammadiyah Surakarta or UMS. Moreover, this research limit the organizational transformation within the two Muhammadiyah universities during the post-reformation era. The study purposefully select those two universities since the institutions are leading among Muhammadiyah universities based on national accreditation body, the exemplary center university by Muhammadiyah, their strategic role in supporting Muhammadiyah movement located in two different cities and provinces that have distinction in cultural and historical aspect. In this study, the researcher using a literature review, a four, actually four literature review regarding organizational change, organizational change in the higher education, Islamic higher education institution in Indonesia, Muhammadiyah universities, as Islamic NGO based private university. In detail, we can see in the table, there are four literature review related with this uh, thesis. First one, organizational change, we can see in the table. The, the first one is meaning of organizational change, type of organizational change, and third is modus operandi. And then move to the uh, organizational change in higher education. Also, there's several uh, literature review related organizational change in higher education. And third literature theme related with Islamic higher education institution in Indonesia. In this uh, in this theme, mostly literature review focus on the genealogy of Islamic higher education 
especially Islamic public university. So the study will fill gap how Islamic private university, especially Muhammadan university, involve and uh, involve and transform themselves in Indonesia post reformation era. The last Muhammadiyah University. There are several literature review related to Muhammadiyah University. For example, regarding institutional development of Muhammadiyah higher education, mostly uh, from historical perspective, teaching discourse, leadership in higher education. But there is no, there is still no the literature review that focus on how Muhammadiyah University transform itself based on a sociological perspective. So the study we will keep in this uh, literature. Theoretical framework. There are three theoretical framework that employ in this study. The first one, institutional perspective. Second one, resource dependence perspective. And the last one is dialectical or political perspective. Three theoretical perspective will employ to help the researcher understand and understand how organizational transformation happen in two Muhammadiyah universities. And the next, hypothetical model. Because this test is using retroactive research strategy, one of the requirement retroactive research strategy is to build hypothetical model. So in the study, the study of the hypothetical model eh, different from the uh, critical realism ontological assumption. We can see on the graph that the reality consists of three layers. The first is the real, referring the structure. The structure is the role and function in the society. In this context, we can see there are several actor interaction and then the generate and produce generative mechanism in the actual reality in certain context and then this condition produces the event the, the events in the two Muhammadiyah universities those the event generate the two universities transform itself in in this in in the current condition in the in the hypothetical material the study called as the reputable Islamic private university. So the study will uncover the reality how the universities became a reputable Islamic private university using retrograde research strategy. Continuing the hypothetical model, eh? the research methodology in this thesis employs the retrograde research strategy as the logic of inquiry. The aim of the retrograde research strategy is to discover underlying mechanism that in particular context explain observed regularities. The logic of retrodexer refers to the process of building hypothetical model of structure and mechanism that are assumed to produce empirical phenomena. This research strategy adopts deep realist ontology philosophically with its three domains of the reality. Like I mentioned before, the empirical, actual, and the real. And then it used the epistemology of neorealism, mix of neorealism and constructivism. The logic of retrodiction refers to the process of building hypothetical models of structure and mechanism that are assumed generating social phenomena. In the study, going to explain 
the structure and underlying mechanism that cause of transformation of Muhammadiyah University. In detail, we can see the research methodology, research and methodology using reproductive methods, using case study, sample study, and two you know, Muhammadiyah universities, and so of data, the type of the type of source data, natural setting, mesosocial phenomena, as unit analysis, organization, namely to Muhammadiyah universities. Data collection, you say uh, in-depth interview, documentary analysis, and data analysis. The first step is uh, employ the qualitative research procedure. And the last is uh, use interactive analysis to find the structure and underlying mechanism. Data analysis, we can see the flow chart, the data analysis, comparing, organizing data, reading data, coding, organizing teams, representing data, called that as data reduction. And then uh, the next step is, is using retroactive research strategy that consists of a four step description of event, identification of structure and component, theoretical description, and the last is retroduction or finding generative mechanism that drive across the key event in the empirical layer of the reality. The finding the first thing, actually this uh, divide into the finding. First one is uh, the transformation at the uh, UMY, Universitas Muhammadiyah Yogyakarta, and second, finding a transformation at uh, UMS, or Universitas Muhammadiyah Surakarta. The first is the finding uh, related with the UMY transformation. We can see the brief, the, uh, the brief history of UMY. UMYS University, there is a, a several steps. First one is from the foundation of the university, development of Pace University, institutional consolidation, and the last is internationalization. From, from my research, I found a, a five key events that uh, generate organization transformation in uh, UMY. The first one is the key event related with the physical development campus second one banyu geni uh, or uh, case uh, uh, banyu geni case related with the conflict and refugee international assistance agenda institutional accreditation and the last is, is building business university all of the key event uh, we uh, we can see in, in this table First one is the physical development, second one Banyu Geni, and third one international agenda, the fourth is industrial accreditation, and the last is building university. We can see from the physical development, there are three uh, uh, generative mechanisms that to generate how UMI could build the integrated campus uh, the, the, the campus that uh, give the impact, they can impact the uh, development of the such as the student enrollment, for example. It's how the university could build the university university uh, university campus with uh, the less financial resources. So the generative mechanic in this in this case. Uh, the study found uh, three uh, generative mechanisms. The first one is social networking mechanism. The uh, second one is structural mechanism, and the last one is cultural mechanism. The biogenic case, uh, the study found uh, make three mechanism. The first one is reputation building mechanism, conflict mechanism. And the last one is Muhammadiyah Institute Logic Mechanism. International agenda, 
in the in this case the study found uh, there are two mechanism underlying mechanism the first one institutional uh, server business mechanism second one in institutional entrepreneurship mechanism and the fourth the key event institutional accreditation there are three genetic mechanism the first one is courtship mechanism second one is regulatory mechanism and the last one is mimetic mechanism and the last the key event that the drive UI way in into the current level is the building university peace university in this reset uh, uncover there are three three underlying mechanism the first is diverse income mechanism second entrepreneurial mechanism and the last is institutionalization mechanism the funding the transformation at UMS we can see there are the several steps the UMS and evolve evolve in the current level we can see the from foundation of the university consolidation base of the university development base of the university institutional strengthening and the last is the strengthening national and international reputation from the case study of the UMS the study found there are four four a key event or study event that generate UMS uh, doing organizational transformation and then he achieved in the current level. The first one is the academic staff development, second one internationalization of UMS, third one institutional accreditation, and the last key event is developing other Muhammadiyah universities. All four key events, all the events uh, have the impact on the UMS involved in the current level. In detail, we can see in the table, academic staff development. We can see that the, there are three generative mechanisms that lead uh, UMS. Uh, uh, UMS uh, can build a uh, capacity especially the, in the academic staff with the with, uh, for example they, 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 they can they can send many uh, academic staff in, uh, uh, to overseas continuing studies the doctor because the research dependency the theory and second is institutional entrepreneurship mechanism that one institut institutionalization mechanism. All three mechanisms drive the UMS to build the academic staff development in uh, 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 he they, they can achieve at the current level. And second key event is internationalization of UMS. There are three uh, generative mechanism that draft UMS uh, enact internationalization as the part of a strategy to enhance the quality academic. The first the mechanism is the isomorphism mechanism. Second, institutional entrepreneurship mechanism. The third is Muhammadiyah institutional logic mechanism. The third key event is install accreditation. The two, there are two institutional, uh, there are two generative mechanisms that generate UMS could achieve the excellent accreditation based on the uh, Indonesian national accreditation. The first is isomorphism mechanism coercive mechanism, normative, mimetic mechanism, it called as the uh, isomorphism mechanism. 
Second institutional entrepreneurship mechanism. And the four is the developing Muhammadiyah University, especially uh, established Universitas Muhammadiyah Kalimantan Timur. Timur. UMS has the strategic role in establishing Universitas Muhammadiyah Kal Kalimantan Timur. Timur. A generative mechanism that contributed in the key event is a social entrepreneurship mechanism. Second is the logic of Muhammadiyah. And the last uh, key event, as actually the part of the uh, actually one 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 key event, but uh, divided in the two key event, is de developing Muhammad uh, developing other Muhammadiyah universities, especially in Malaysia. UMS as the avant-garde in establishing it in, 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 as, uh, that has initiative to build or establish Universitas Muhammadiyah Malaysia in Berlis. UMS invite several Muhammadiyah universities to join and uh, collaborate to uh, pursue this uh, this project. Finally, they can achieve to establish Universitas Muhammadiyah Malaysia. But in the uh, actually this is process. The mechanism the mechanism that contributing uh, this event is the institutional entrepreneurship mechanism. Second one is the logic Muhammadiyah. And that one is social network mechanism. The next, organizational transformation of the two Mamada universities. This co uh, comparing the organizational organizational transformation in two Mohammedia universities. We can see there are commonalities. Organizational transformation into Muhammadiyah University. Muhammadiyah is just a logic, but university has similarities because the universities is under organizational parent of Muhammadiyah. There are four, uh, four similarity regarding institutional logic. We can see. We can we can see, for example, because UMBA and UMS is one of university under auspice of the Muhammadiyah University. UMS not only to carry out higher education research community service, but also to improve Islam and Muhammadiyah development. And third, both, both UMS and UMA has the Muhammadiyah spirit of renewal and progress as foundation for organiz organizational transformation. And uh, the crucial point is for UMY and UMS institutionalize the value of Taiwan have each other, especially in under uh, uh, same uh, Muhammadiyah University into their institutional development. A second commonality is university accreditation and quality insurance. But university initiate uh, uh, at uh, UV accreditation and quality assurance uh, actually one of the, the I would say the the uh, both university institutionalized UV accreditation and quality insurance in the early regarding all the Muhammadiyah University and 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 also only Indonesian University see, before enacted by Minister of Higher Education in Indonesia in 2010. And, and, and third, commonalities, uh, the, the commonality of the two university is two university uh, enacted the policy of the internationalization, both at home and abroad. And the last uh, community is the two universities also have the institutional entrepreneurship as international entrepreneurship. 
But university is uh, uh, institutionalized, institutional leadership, not only in regarding the uh, financial matter, but also in other field. For example, they are, they are support the academic staff, even though they are limited resources, but they are uh, collaborate with the other institution. So, both university has a similarity in this uh, in this aspect. The differences of organizational transformation of two universities. You know, uh, doing international orientation, international center orientation. International as the strategy, also as the goal of a higher education institution. UMA has target to become the key stop uh, uh, 100 world university under 50 years in Asia. But UMS uh, only target to become uh, the reputable university nationally and internationally, especially Asia, not decide exactly what uh, what the achievement and the last uh ufs see the international strategy of the effort to improve the quality of the higher education as sec second uh differences between umy and ufs UMY did not institutionalize academic publication affairs in particular institution by establish certain institution that responsible to carrying to carrying out the public the publication. But UMS institutionalized academic publication into a particular institution that focus on, on developing academic publication. Second, UMY place publication as part of division of institute research. UMS established institute of scientific publication development to accelerate international publication. And in the last, UMY, UMY became the manager of the host of the academic association of Muhammadiyah higher education institution, national and international academic association. However, UMS does not develop journals with scientific association, but focus on more on developing journal by itself. And the third, developing other Muhammadiyah universities, UMA is involved as the company and university, not as far as UMS is involved in managing and turning other universities into satellite universities. But UMS is committed supporting the development of other Muhammadiyah universities by involving them directly. Second, UMS is only a supervisor for other Muhammadiyah universities to share experience in university management. But UMS, in terms of the MQAT, UMS fully support human and financial resources in satellite campus development. The last difference is UIMA prefers to help other Muhammad universities by providing human resources, assistant, quality, insurance system, and financial loan assistance to university within Muhammadiyah. But UMS become the initiator and activator in realizing the establishing of Muhammadiyah University in Malaysia. And the next is contribution to literature and theory. The study uh, contributed to several uh, to literature and theory. The first previous research focus on the development of Islamic higher education. Islamic public higher education has been done by several scholar. The research fill a gap in study of development of Islamic private higher education in Indonesia, not public, not Islamic public, uh, you, you, not Islamic public higher education. 
Also, this thesis indirectly denies well view that Muhammadiyah University is affiliated with Islamic political party. The study shows that Muhammadiyah University affiliated with Muhammadiyah as social organization or Islamic movement. Second, several study on Muhammadiyah education, for example, history, uh, they focus on the history of external development, teaching in, in gender, inter internationalization, the role of Islamic value of higher education, leadership in higher education. But in contrast to previous study, this study examine the com uh, comparative organizational transformation of two Muhammadiyah University in certain period. The study revealed how Muhammadiyah as Islamic NGO plays a significant role in the development in the two universities, UMA and UMS. Muhammadiyah universities have ideological, structural, and cultural ties with Muhammadiyah's mission and Islamic NGO in Indonesia. The fourth, the study found that the organizational transformation at the two Muhammadiyah universities was influenced by external pressures in the form of policies and regulation from the government, but it was also influenced by the institutional logic of Muhammadiyah internally. The next, the external pressure stemming from the changes in the higher education environment forced the two Muhammadiyah universities to improve the quality of the institution. However, they faced limited resources to improve the quality of higher education. In response, the leaders of the university mobilized institutional entrepreneurship to overcome this obstacle in certain field. The sixth, the study shows the institutional logic of Muhammadiyah, which based on the value of progress, change and town or solidarity to help drive to the Muhammadiyah University swiftly adapt to change in the government policy regarding higher education. The organizational transformation of the two universities occurred not only because of the external pressures from the university environment, but also because Muhammadiyah institutional logic which provide normative legitimation. The combination of external policy pressures and external logic dialectically made the organizational transformation of two Muhammadiyah University possible. The research revealed the existence of external replication practiced by Muhammadiyah University that well established to other Muhammadiyah University are developing. In this context, instant replication is the practice of the organization in applying, sharing, transferring resources, process, structures, and uh, rules, norms, and cultural symbolism as the authoritative guideline and capital to other organization to encourage and effect organizational growth and transformation. Muhammadiyah is really replicate the organizational practice of Muhammadiyah universities that have succeeded in the implementation of organizational transformation to other Muhammadiyah higher education. This institutional replication was carried out by Muhammadiyah based on the good experiences and practices of several developed Muhammadiyah universities. The practice of organizational check in higher education institution is often associated with external pressures emanating from an institutional isomerism. In the case of Foster Muhammadiyah University, it was not only caused by institutional isomerism, but also by dominant institutional replication. We can see the Tory saying on digital replication uh, that the element of the uh, digital replication consists of the first one is digital values, organization's goal, replication of system, 
institutional financial resource, institutional human resources, and the last A, institutional social capital work. We can uh, see uh, on the table, both of university has the element of the replication. And the next limitation of study, UMY and UMS are located in central part of Java, the center of the Muhammadiyah movement. Several other Muhammad University have also achieved accreditation outside the region. So this the focus just the focus in Java. Two, the study focus on the dynamic of university organizational transformation and to university as reset unit uh, analysis. Therefore, this reset did not cover much of the institutional transformation at the faculty and department level, as it focuses on the organization change at the university level. The third, the reset examined important event in the organizational transformation of two Muhammadiyah universities in 20 years. The long range of reset object caused this reset to only reveal key event in transformation, but in not in other uh the other event recommendation for future reset expanding reset on the other moment the university will allow broader and more in-depth picture how organizational transformation occurs in muhammadiyah high education second study on the organizational transformation of non-muhammadiyah islamic private university as you need to be done by comparing with non-muhammadiyah private islamic university an overview of how the relationship between the parent organization and the university affect each other in the face of organizational transformation can be obtained. The last comparative study between organizational transformation of Muhammadiyah University and Islamic, Islamic private university based on Islamic organization or foundation in Southeast Asia countries need to be done. Comparing this private Islamic university will depict the similarities and differences between private Islamic university in Indonesia in other countries. That the last section and matur won, terima kasih, syukron, and thank you for all. Okay. That's right. Okay, in the in the next section of our uh, discussion today, our supervision today, I will uh, give my feedback uh, about the presentation first, right? And then only I'll talk about the uh, I'll talk about the the principles and some questions, uh, key questions to guide uh, the presentation and the viva itself, right? Okay, here goes your presentation. How long was it? How long was it? Do you know how long was it? Yeah? More than 30 minutes. More than 40 minutes, in fact. Right. Right. Now it's 11.23. Uh, 11.23, right. So uh, you started uh, about 10.40ish, right. So so you know <laughs> so, so uh, definitely it's, it's too long so uh, brace yourself right? i'm going to give you a lot of feedbacks yeah so so get ready take note of my feedbacks and 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 uh yeah and uh, make the necessary uh, improvements uh, yeah okay um uh there's there's the part about your presentation style there's also the part about your slides and 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 uh, and then there are other things about the time and all that, right? Okay, uh, so let's go through, we will talk about the slides again. Um, let me talk about the, the general presentation style first and all that, right? Uh, okay, the, uh, how, how do you feel when you were presenting? This one is, and then in the middle, uh, at first, nervous, you mean? That's the first one. Okay. But and then, right. I feel okay. And then, all right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, that if, uh, some level of stress is actually healthy. Right? Too much stress is not healthy. Uh, in fact, you want to 
translate the stress or name label the stress as as excitement. Um, so, uh, do you tend to speak louder when you're stressful or faster when you're stressful or you know? Feel stressful. Your your own take. Uh. Usually, I, usually I speak loudly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you are very loud just now, which is good. Um, now we were talking about the tone first, right? So what you want to do in your presentation is to vary the the tone, the the, the loudness, right? So there are things that you want to emphasize. So you put in more. Yeah, yeah, uh, emphasize. Uh, when you emphasize, you you know put in. Uh, more energy than that, right? The parts uh, that you do not need to emphasize, you do not need to, uh, you know, use uh, your high tones and uh, so. So you have that fluctuation in in your presentation. In general, you were if it's zero zero to ten in terms of uh, emphasis, it's like almost eight nine eight nine ten eight nine ten nine. You know, sometimes seven. So it's, it's, it's emphasis throughout. So uh, uh, the the examiners might not be able to differentiate which is the important point which is not an important point okay so do the variation in your 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 voice projection then but you do have good voice projection uh, it's just a matter of uh, um, uh, uh, making sure that it is not just uh, in the high tones uh, you know they're, they're just the other part is the speed i think the speed is equally important uh, I do think that you were a bit faster than the, uh, you know, what would be a, the a convincing speed, uh, right? So you want to be more uh, <coughs> at ease for yourself, more suitable than the 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 examiners. Sorry, sir. Last time, uh, I've been when I use this one. Ready? Yeah, a bit dist so distracting. Speak, yeah, distracting. Rajin, you got to turn off Muzakir's. Uh... Oh, yeah, thank you. I, I know. This, so, uh, you mean the earlier part, right? Earlier the earlier part. part. Yeah, yeah, it was distracting. So this is the part. So I'm thinking still about the presentation when the when the actual viva you want to do it uh, from your laptop, not not our studio here. Yeah. Yeah, so you from your laptop, maybe downstairs, yeah. right? Uh, so this is this way you should do do it. Like okay. I think, uh, that is the safest. Uh, but uh, as I said last time, you do want to have a backup system. I don't know what that, how how you're gonna have a second laptop or something. Maybe we can help with. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe or maybe you can do it here, but uh, you know, uh, Raji can so, yeah switch off that one and uh, so we that one we'll figure out after this we we'll figure out that one right uh, in terms of uh, the second backup system uh hansen just come in i'm gonna admit hansen uh yeah see hansen just came, come in there all right uh that is the the presentation style and then uh, your your my my post is too loud it's too loud it's too loud uh, but it's okay uh to have that strong voice projection but you have the strong strong voice projection throughout so so you, you uh, you're you're holding you're holding the attention to too long so people cannot be pay attention you know yeah you know. so after people feel tired they just just they just drop right? so sometimes you want to grab attention release the attention right? yeah. release the attention you know what i mean so the, it's about the Variation. The variation, yeah. So otherwise it become monotonous. Monotonous not in the low energy, monotonous in the high energy. <laughs> you know, the tone, the tone is high, almost high throughout, yeah. <laughs> so become a rocker, become a rocker. That's right. <laughs> so, and the, the speed, so uh, you want to pace yourself not to go high speed throughout, I think. In more moments you were going very fast and then you kind of lose the the words when you go very fast so we do not know we would not know what you're saying when you go very very fast right so this is more about the presentation um but uh i, I think as a whole 
your tone is not the uh your your tone is not a, a tone that is um arrogant so it is good right uh, you don't project arrogance in your communication which is good because arrogance is doesn't work well during viva you know and uh, so that is uh, so basically what you want to do is before even you start there you you tell yourself okay uh, i want to uh, uh, convey uh, i want to present uh, in a clear way in an honest way in a humble way uh, you know when you condition yourself like that your communication will flow according to the conditioning to so the program that, uh, they ask to them to give the what is the the that my that's right my, yeah my style this is yes okay okay so there, there is the attention to, to okay you can do that you can do that yeah yeah it's my style yeah 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 okay uh so um all right that's this is the presentation style right? but um, we will go back to it from time to time but we'll, we'll, that's the general presentation style we want to go back to the slide so you got to share your slide again now still we are talking about the presentation and we are not talking about the viva per se yet we're talking about your presentation all right since you are you have practically about 40 minutes or so presentation so you got to cut this into not just half you got to cut a lot of it right as i said general rule of thumb each slide is about three minutes maybe four minutes right uh, don't don't do it my way i'm giving a lecture which is different <laughs> right so uh, I'm not. I'm doing viva. I'm doing lecture. Lecture is okay. different. So I I understand that. So that's why when people give me a short time, I say uh, uh, big big problem from me. Right. Uh, so I can do a motivational speech for ten minutes, but you give me give me a lecture, a bit challenging to do in ten fifteen minutes, right? So the solution is to uh, cut my cut your slides. So now we we do we do need to uh, cut down your slides. If you talk, the most important part. The most important part, right? So you want to you the, the the general rule of thumb is about three minutes per slide. So if you are given 10, 15 minutes, so you have a fifteen divided by three. How many slides are there? Totally <laughs> five slides, right? So you have five slides, <laughs> right? So five. So we can stretch that a bit to seven slides. Uh, that does include your your uh what is it your your end that your, your your thank you slide and your introduction slide right so you can have about five to seven slides this one, uh, directly mm. to the we will we will go we'll go uh certain slides i will need to make uh, uh corrections and improvements so let's go from your first slide just now let's see the first slide there transmission the transformation you have the word the in your thesis yes. you have yes. okay I, I can't recall now i'm not sure right okay uh the, the, the transformation okay um okay that's fine you got my name right you got your name correct <laughs> Julia. Huh? My supervisor, so, do you have a second supervisor no, no. Uh, that's just supervisor that's fine <laughs> yeah. right <laughs> i don't know now you have second supervisor now okay that's good just check the uh now what what I, I want you to also to focus on spellings and all that because some examiners are very concerned yeah. so yeah. The other day when I, about the number i said that because uh you know i worry that my mistake name team <laughs> i tried to see something like <laughs> 1998 and 2018 yeah <laughs> okay, okay all right um if you're short of time uh if you're short of time you can even skip your title you can go straight to your presentation right because the title sometimes takes about one minute or so uh, you want to you, know, you can skip the title because they all know your what your title is right uh you can but if you're not short of time it's fine so let's see that if you're short of time then you can skip this one right uh this one is already there way before you start you know it's up there so they can read it so go to the next slide. Okay, uh, the study aim the study aims to capture the patterns of organizational uh, transformation of Muhammadiyah universities comparatively. Theoretically, the study provides an explanation about the Islamic 
Oh, it's non Islamic, non government organization builds and transform Islamic based university in developing country. Uh, in a developing country. Right. Right. So, uh, so just just maybe you should just take note instead of make, making correction now because oh. it will take it will take time. You have a piece of paper. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, and then. Uh, where are we now? Okay, based on the on previous studies, there is also there is no explanatory model of organizational transformation of Islamic based private university. This study feels that the literature ga gap related to study of higher education in Islamic non governmental organization in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. All right, okay, move. All right, problem statement. There's no, there's no S, this one. All right, no S there. Okay, uh, right. right. Go to the next one. So problem statement uh, is part of your presentation. It should, you should retain that one, right? Okay, uh, next one, next. Uh, research questions. Uh, what are the key events? All right, the word, let me hear you say that word. What are? What are, what are the key events? With an S, right? So a number of times you did not pronounce the S. So you got to pronounce the S, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got to, I go to this level when it comes to whatever, key events, right? That's good, right? Uh, organizational transformation in the, the thing is we are all, well, most, I think all, uh, you know, not native speakers. So we are, we got to put even more effort to, to speak the right one, the right, the right, the right uh, pronunciation, use the right pronunciation. Right. What are the various generated mechanisms contributed uh, with an S, right, to the transformation of two Muhammadan universities? Right. What are the, what are the commonal, com, commonalities? The, there should be the, the commonal, uh, commonalities and differences. All right, all right. Uh, of the two, you know, differences without that is fine because the yeah, yeah, yeah okay all right next uh so research questions you will retain that one what you can do is uh, you have research objectives too right yes sir. so you can combine research object objectives and research questions together in one slide uh, so you can you can say well my research objectives are basically a, ref a reflection of my research questions so you move on to the next slide after that you don't need to i do need to go into it right okay so combine those two into one okay and go to the next one uh after research objectives uh, uh the significance of re of study so it's not significant uh, significance is an adjective uh, you want to turn that into a noun so N C E. Okay, significance of that. So again, correct there, correct. Then the set state statement is also you must correct, right? Is to contribute to the theoretical discourse of the development of Islamic NGO based private education institution in Asia. This study contributes towards an informed understanding of. You do not need the word an inform an understanding or a deep understanding uh, instead of informed understanding a deep understanding so deep doesn't have an n there it just a no or no n okay the understanding uh, uh, a deep understanding a is there no no n okay uh, all right uh, uh and transformation of modern universities in the in in the response in response there's no the in response to social change you can talk about the social change in response. In response, there's no the there, right? Okay. Uh, to social change in uh, in in Indonesia, I think in the social changes. Uh, so in the social, here we are talking about reformation, right? Are we talking about? But then you just put in reformation, maybe. Yeah. Uh, in response to to the to the reformation or you can actually skip all this is fine I yeah. think. 
skip the in the in response to just skip the whole thing right and that might complicate the the whole statement uh, okay this study generates relevant studies okay that's another part which is problematic because you have redundant words appearing there the stud this study generates relevant studies uh, in the field of higher education what do you mean here Of research on the higher education in Indonesia. Oh, this, uh, this uh, just say uh, uh, generates relevant studies, relevant knowledge, maybe. Relevant knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so relevant knowledge. Uh, further research in further research and organization and transformation among private in learning uses will with a different locale can be pursued okay uh, right. uh, 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 okay you can say that no, you don't say that it's fine too because that will be uh, you know later on uh, Okay, let's move to the next one. So we can talk about significance of study. Uh, uh, my my thought is, uh, uh, my thought is, uh, if you do, if you need to, you can skip significance of study, right? Uh, or you can combine significance of study and the scope of study as well. If you want to, uh, um, you can combine that too. Uh, if you want, uh, just in the same slide, yeah. Mm. Uh, and put the same slide uh, but you still you, you're having a lot of slides without going to the findings yet so it's like uh, your findings is your in this, this is already four slides right mm, so we are we want to limit to about seven slides the most okay uh all right mm. so i i think uh the significance and the scope of study keep them for first put it at the end Significant or maybe significant study, uh, you can put, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, before this is the objective, right? Objective. All right. Uh, so can you put, uh, you know, a, a line after the objectives, right? And so you have re research, research, object, uh, research question, research objectives, right? And uh, underneath there, the significance of study, right? In one, uh, In one slide. Like, this one research question yeah. and the significant yes. study. Research question on the side, research oh, yeah, objectives. Right. Uh, so you can see the parallels. All right. Okay. Okay. And there is a, and the significance of study in, at the bottom there. All right. And then we go to the, uh, I think the scope of study, you can skip that one. Let's go to, uh, you do not need to do literature review. Skip the literature review. This one. Yep, you do not need literature review. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you can go to the key findings, so you don't need to do re literature review. Uh, but you keep the literature review towards the end. Okay. Uh, uh, and if you want to do the literature review, you basically want to just identify the literature gap, right? Okay. Uh, you or you can have all these texts just to put on the side that you have done these things, and you have certain highlights only identify yes yes yeah, you can say that. To just mention that one so when you have a lot of text like this and it's true throughout you have a few slides with a lot of text uh, bold and you, know, you want to bold certain words that you want to focus on you do not want to you know, right? okay so but, but literature review you can skip literature review or you can just put just certain keywords that you have identified from literature review, right? <clears throat> because now it's already what slide number what slide number four or five now. Mm, so you are left with only two slides. Okay. Uh, Let's this one. Here, see, my thought is since you're you're using retroductive research methodology right uh you want to slant your presentation towards your findings more 
and towards explaining the model, right? So you want to have at least three slides to four slides explaining your findings, right? So you have a lot of findings there. Yeah, so it becomes a bit more confusing which one you want to highlight, right? And you have the graph thing, thing going on there, and then you have the the chart thing, right? And then generative mechanisms for UMY, you have generative mechanisms for UMS, right? The whole bar thing at the bottom, you have the generative mechanism in for each event, so to say, right? Right. So um what you want to do is to be able to explain this uh in you know you know maybe you have the model there you want to explain the model you can explain in the, the below okay. bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, okay. What, what, what you can do, you can just explain one key event, but you have the whole thing in one. So you have the generative mechanism, the whole model, right? The whole model, right? So you have one model for UMY, you have another model for EMS, right? What happened here? Run out of power. No, the your 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 connection. Oh, your your PC, your laptop. Yeah, yeah. disconnected. See, it's a red light. Red light is like it means it's charging. Oh, something with it. Okay, there you go. It's something to. Okay. What? Yeah, this says that you want to have two systems. <laughs> you <do>, you right. <laughs> So I have, uh, okay. When it's red, it means connected, uh, Mr. Kher? Yes, sir. It's charging, red is charging. It's connected, right? Huh? It's connected. It's connected. Why do you have to be Yeah, it's red. Oh, okay. Unconnect to camera, uh, power mode, battery server. Okay, it's only 3% left. Is it your adapter? It's not. It's not charging. No, it's charging. Huh? No, it's charging. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, get you want buy another adap adapter as well or whatever. Okay. Okay, but but you're 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 not connected. You're connected well. 
Yeah, uh, no, I'm talking about internet. Are you connected? I'm oh, still connected. Okay. But can't see your face now. Okay, the finding, about the findings. All right, okay. So let's take the model that you have. Where is the model there? Okay, that's the one. Okay, the model you have. Uh, this is this is the the one that you have. Your your the big findings, right? It's just a retroductive research strategy. This is the one that you want to have the the explanatory model, right? So this is your. This is this is where you explain things, right? Uh, you can take an example, uh, and explain it here. Now that said, the problem with this visual, I can see that it's too small. We cannot see this visual, right? So, uh, okay, that's better. That's better, right? That's better. So you can somehow enlarge it, make it bigger, or whatever, right? So on maybe on the side there, the hypothetical model, the word hypothetical model is, you don't need that word there, you know, uh, put it at bottom or put it at the top, right? And and make this visual bigger. And then explain using this visual, okay? Uh, you explain using this visual. Um, you could have, you could have your, your slides just now, still maintain it. But you said, uh, these are, the findings, but let me explain the findings using the visual. This, you go straight there. So you demonstrate that you have these findings, right? But let me go straight to the visual to explain my findings, my key findings. But I will only, let me give an example of one of the generative mechanisms. Uh, so, after this model, mm. so I can directly give the example from the swan, for example, swan. Okay, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that is how you do it. Okay? To draw it again, white again. Yeah, this one is, again, it's too small. So make the right smaller, make the left bigger. Right? Uh, so uh, you, you you can see, I will explain just, as an example, I will explain one uh, generative mechanism for uh, UMY, the other one, one generative mechanism for UMS, right? But the whole picture can be seen in this, the, the complete model. Yeah, I can say that. Okay, now, the word mod, how do you pronounce that word there? Hypothetical model. Uh, not model, model. Hypothetical uh, model. Model, uh, just like my, my brother, he said, prophet, prophet. I said, it's not fat. The fat is that big fat guy there, right? Prophet, right? So. I'm sorry I have to make these corrections, but then sometimes it annoys examiner. It doesn't annoy me, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't make those corrections normally, right? But model, model, right? There you go. That's good. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's much more like British, you know. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, there are certain, the other certain words that also I want to highlight. Uh, you said, you say the word employ, employs? Employs. What, what, what do you mean by that word? It means to use. Yeah, yes. Okay. It sounded, it sounded like, it sounded like implore. There is no S. No, no, employ. It sounded to me like implore, uh, employs. So, um, uh, but Sorry, the, employs. Employs, uh, or uses, utilizes, uh, if you want to use that. Uh, but you can use the employees as long as it's pronounced correctly. It sounded like implore. Implore means uh, encourage, uh, oh. highly encourage, right? So employees. Uh, I need to make, to make sure I can actually do it with the site synonym maybe. Yeah. I do that employees, a lot of time. Utilize. There you go. I usually do that. I usually use three triangulation words. Uh -huh. If you listen to my presentation, uh, especially if in Indonesian, I will use three words. Well, yeah, yeah, because implementation of okay, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, okay. true, 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 three. It's also called the Churchill method. The Churchill emphasized three different ways using three different methods. Also, the Churchill method is the three, three, three word method, uh, three, three different angles to get to the same point. Mm, so, 
Yes, go use synonyms. So, it helps. Like, I'm not uh, sure with my pronunciation. That's <laughs> right. And then the other thing is that the na- the the examiners are also not native speakers, right? So they might have their own accents, right, <laughs> of the word, right, which is not the correct accent also. So they might think, and they might hear using their accents, you know. So so that is another that yeah, that that part, right? So uh, and, and plus. Um, now, you, when you use visual to explain, right? when you use a visual to explain, uh, you want to be able to get them to uh, look at the certain parts of the visual. So, well, you want to direct the examiners. So, if you look at the bottom part, you see the word real. Ah, see, see? Ah, see the, the word real. And together with those words, you see the generative mechanisms. Uh, so, at the bottom there, you see the word... Uh, M E M H E. You see the word Muhammad. There. You see the word, those are generative mechanisms at the at the. So you are getting. Otherwise, you put well, what am I? You know, no, you know. <laughs> and they will switch off. Uh, it is possible too, right? So, but this is an important part of your presentation. So you want to show that uh, there's three layers. So you want to emphasize uh, this is a strength of retroactive research strategy that you uh, you know discover this. Three layered reality, uh, three realities of, of of transformation. Yeah. So, so you see the there's the by the way, but then you have this top line that's where it creates like a four layer thing, right? Uh, you can see that top line. there. Eh? kind of a bit confusing because uh, visually it looks like four now, but you actually have three only, right? The empirical is in the ma- manifestation actually. Remove the, uh, remove the line there. Uh, yeah, in fact, many, many empirical is the manifestations. So, in retroductive research strategy, the, ma- the 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 real creates events, but there are events that are not empirically seen. The events that can be seen, right? So, so that's what actual is the events, right? The, the pristiwa, pristiwa, right? So the empirical, ah, uh, that is seen. That is all seen. It's a manifestation, right? So uh, remember the three, uh, you know, the the box, the the matrix, right? Yeah. So this requires a bit more explanation on your part, but if you can explain it, it's very good, right? I think you can explain it, right? Because you know the stuff very well now. Uh, uh, but the point I want to note there is that you want to direct the examiners to the point that you want to explain, right? So if you look at the bottom, you look at the middle, the word actual there, ah, there. So there are people. Oh, okay, people. You are guiding them. You're guiding them. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you got it. Right? Okay. Uh, so uh, explaining the uh, the visual there. Uh, you go to the research methodology. Mm. Your research methodology. You can simplify this by saying that retroactive uh, research strategy is about what. And then, uh, uh, you don't go. You don't need to go too deep about it. But you can talk about the three realities. You know, uh, you know, three f- spheres of social reality. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, you can streamline a bit. Uh, make sure the language is right. Can you enlarge this a bit so that I can uh, I've kind of detect something that is not quite right there. In the research methodology, right? You have changed it, okay. <laughs> All right, remove that. Okay, okay, okay. the aim is to discover and learn. All right, right, okay, this is good. This is good. The logic. Oh, it is the previous one, okay. Uh, the, uh, so then he used uh, that is like a bit. So, uh, the logic of introduction refers to the process of, okay. All right, you can uh, you can remove the the, the middle part. It's fine. Mm, so keep it simple there. Uh, so again, when you have a a paragraph like this, right? You want to highlight certain words, bold, make it bold, certain words that you want to emphasize. Uh, this is so. This is about uh, presentations, the slides themselves, right? Um. After this, we'll take a short break, uh, and then we will. Restart our uh, our session. Yeah? So okay. Take okay. Uh. Uh. You. How do you say? Uh. Research methodology. 
Uh, yeah, you, you, the next one, the, the, the one that you have all the that categories. Uh. All right. Actually, this uh, the summary from the the, the chapter of the chapter two. Chapter two, yeah, yeah, yes. To make it easy. To... Yes, yes. Uh, um, I, I think what 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 you do. What you do is, so I'm concerned about the time because the emphasis of your your presentation that you have, right, is on the on the findings. You want to talk about that, right, on your findings. Uh, but keep this one. You already have that that research methodology just now. Just in detail, but just that's not right. to explain. Just there you go. You could do that. Uh -huh. But to show that already you have it. Stay, you know? Already doing the research methodology step by step. I mean, it's just okay. Yeah. Yes. To, just to to show them. Yes. Yes. But mm. just just uh for just just for like, uh, I would like to describe in detail. Just yeah, move on to another slide. Yes. Now, yes, the way you divide your divide your time is. Uh, note that the most important part will be your key findings and explaining your key findings and your contribution. Yeah. Uh, so, if you're given ten minutes, you should start your explanation about key findings on the oh, on the six think. minutes. On the six minutes. So at least half of it is about your key findings, about your findings and your uh, contribution and all that. So you got to divide your time. So you look at the time. You say, okay. I have I got to the most important part. The, the, the most part, say the findings. The findings, <laughs> yes, the findings, and you want to make uh, make it clear about what your findings are, how why, because of the finding, and you want to show that you have discovered, you have demonstrated something important here, right? Uh, this is the part that you want to demonstrate. This is through your findings and how your findings are connected to your theoretical contribution, right? So you need time to make the argument. Uh, the rest is you know, methodology, research. Uh, you know, I to pass. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They get bored already. Too, too. They get bored. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, the data analysis, you can you can skip the data analysis. Keep it after. Put it under thank you after thank you. Okay. Whatever you have address, you put on thank you. I think so, already represent the recent methodology. Definitely you know? yes yes. So uh, so uh. Not need Actually, no 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 no. So no, I I I think I think in a way you you can basically. We, we, those are the enough points for you to present, right? What what else do you have down there? What else do you have down? This one on it, like this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. These are the events, yeah. events, right? Yeah, okay, uh, oh, there's key events. That, that's a transformation. Yeah, so. Uh, you, you want to decide, I said to you that, you know, between five to seven, you will stretch it, you just want to, not, not more than 10, you know, you know, not more than 10, you stretch it. So you got to squeeze whatever you have here into that 10 slides, right? You got the point, right? Uh, the reason being, we do not know the chairperson will give you 10 minutes or 15 minutes, right? So you got to be prepared to be, make the argument. Um, if the Okay, we'll talk about the, the 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 time managing the time afterwards. So this is about your slides, right? So okay, we will take a a a, a quick uh, break and then we'll come back. Uh, I'll talk more about the principles and uh, we will we'll continue uh, some parts of the discussion. But well, I want to connect it to uh, the 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 bigger part of your uh, viva preparation. Okay. This part not only right? finding analysis because we directly show the the finding in the table. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your theoretical you. contribution you want to highlight that, but yeah. you have like you have like seven, ten, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so
So <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to complete them all to uh, in the in the presentation. But uh, uh, you can say you, I have about you know you got what ten something like that contribution there, right? So you want to highlight among you know the, uh, the, the, the most uh, the most important part, right? No, okay, please. okay. So all right, okay, good. We will take a quick break, about three minutes or so. All right, and we will restart. Uh, right, okay. Good, good. Alhamdulillah. Right. Oh, sorry, another one. How do you say? How do you say this word? Theorizing. Theorizing. You're struggling. Where to say? Theorizing. Ah, that sounds better. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, theorizing. Right. Uh, theorizing, yeah, uh, uh, because it's not it did not sound. Uh, uh, theorizing, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, the British theorizing, yes, theorizing. Uh, yeah, Zach and S. Uh. But what well, the pronunciation is is the same though, or the spelling is different. Pronunciation is the same. Okay, <laughs> theorizing. Uh, uh, okay, we'll take a quick break and then we'll 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 come back in in three or five minutes time. Right, right.